We got glazed old fashioned, glazed world fair, chocolate old fashioned, plain cake, and we have chocolate devil's food, caramel cake, cinnamon, we got lemon drops, New Orleans buttermilk drops, powder cake. This is our Samoa donut, red velvet, caramel cake, and Oreo. This is our carrot cake, maple, and these are cream puffs. Big cinnamon rolls, mini cinnamon rolls, our maple bacon. As I'm out and about, I get asked a lot of times, hey, where are y'all going next? And many times you've even suggested places we should go. One place that keeps coming up over and over again is Gibson's Donuts. And why not? They've got great donuts, and I can't think of a better place to feature our 10th episode. It's great to see you. Nice to have you here. Yeah, for those of y'all who don't know Don, this is Don DeWeese. Don is the owner here at Gibson's Donuts. Congratulations on y'all's 50th year. We are very excited about this. Y'all been in Memphis for a long time. I know uh, I love coming up here. It seems like everybody I talk to is, uh, when are y'all going to film Gibson's? When are y'all going to go up and talk to Don? So we, we're here finally, and we wanted to kind of get a little information about the history of Gibson's and Sir. find out how y'all came about, what your involvement is here. Laura Gibson started it in 1967, and he opened up down on Poplar Avenue, say equal to where Labana Hospital is. And he eventually moved out here, and we bought Gibson from Royal Gibson September 1st, 1996. So we've actually owned it a little over 20 years, but Gibson Donuts has been in business since 1967. We still use the same recipe, we still use the same mix, the same tender love and care that he does. We just do it a little better and make some changes along the way. We're considered now the largest single privately owned donut shop in America. Nobody buys the amount of mix, the number of bags of mix that we do each week for just a single owned, one location shop. My son is very creative. My, my wife's an artist, my mother was an artist, and my son, Britton, who uh, is my partner here with me, does a donut of the month. He does not ask my permission, he does it. He's very creative. This month is a Samoa donut, like the Girl Scrap cookie. Okay. It has uh, caramel on that, and then some flake coconut. Very expensive, but very special high-end coconut product. It's flake, it's not the little coconut pieces that you get by an incredible quality coconut. Yeah, we're very quality, very expensive, and then we drizzle chocolate over the top of it. And these things fly off. I mean, that's probably one of our biggest and best moving specials of the month. The other thing that Britain did, we've never had carrot cake before, and we did not know that Dawn made a carrot cake donut mix. So we brought a bag in just to test about two weekends ago, we, we made it on Friday and Saturday. We couldn't keep it stocked. So we're doing a carrot cake donut topped with cream cheese icing. Okay. And it is probably going to end up being a regular everyday thing. It's, just, it's, it's selling equal, if not more, than the pumpkin donut that we do in October and November. Uh, like a maple bacon or something like that? Right, that maple bacon. Maple bacon. Britain invented that here. Now, there was a... A policeman that had blue dot donuts down in New Orleans that did a maple bar, which is like an eclair shape, and they put a strip of bacon on the top of it. And we got <laughs> got the idea from that. So Britain called Cisco, who we and every other restaurant in Memphis buys a lot of prop from, and said, we want a bacon prop. And they came out with several samples and what the quality of what we wanted, and they make called fine bacon pieces. It's real, real high, so we have this and we make a baked wow. donut, and that started out as a donut of the month, and now we do it every day, 364 days a year, and it's phenomenal. Other donut of the month that we started, and now we do every day, is red velvet. We started a red velvet with cream cheese icing on it. We have it every day. If we took that out, these people would be, you'd be a mutiny in here. Uh, yeah, I'd be Same one of the ones the, oh, yeah. That is a really good donut. Britain bought some Oreo cookies one time and put it in a blender. And we take a regular vanilla white ice donut 
We just dip it in the oh yeah, blend it up. So he did that for a donut of the month. The other thing we do do, we let our glazed donuts rise three times. Most people let them rise once or twice. So our donuts are very light. They're very airy. When you bite into them, if you get a, a good fresh donut on Friday, Saturday, Sunday morning, or any day, they're very, very light to the feel. They're light to the taste. And we use wet yeast. We use uh, bars of yeast, which is a wet yeast. And most donut shops in the country will do a dry yeast that you buy at Sam's or Costco because you buy them in the big one pound pack. But we use a wet yeast and we think it gives better flavor. Uh, Mr. Gibson told us that. He did that before, so it's not any secret that Britain or I, my wife Rita, has come up with. We continued what Mr. Gibson started here. You know, when you think of Memphis, certain things come to mind, and food's obviously one of them. And when it comes to donuts, this is what everybody thinks of. You know, Gibson's donuts, even desserts in general, kind of goes along like you're talking about with Graceland and you know FedEx. Those certain names remind you of Memphis. Elvis Presley used to come in here. We have no proof of it. We have no pictures. But Lord Gibson told us that he, but he, he came in here occasionally himself. But he's sending his people in here a lot at night to buy the donuts. He was a night person, because you know the, the story about him and the jelly donut. He's got to have jelly But Lowell said that he would come or even send somebody in often. We have a lot of celebrities that come in here. Who, who Al, Green, some of the Al Green is a very good customer. Uh, Zebo is a very good customer. Tony Allen's a good customer. Tubby Smith was here this morning for 30 minutes talking to the regular and University of Memphis' baseball coach, Derek Shunrock. They call him The Rock. He was in this morning. We've had Super Bowl players. Tariq Black, who's now with the Los Angeles Lakers, comes in here. D'Angelo Williams is in here. The, on the wall right over there, you see that jersey of his and his helmet and the Memphis University of Memphis Tiger, he came in a lot. A hot cinnamon and sugar, right out. I mean, right out is the absolute best thing we do. And that's what we throw to the uh, first time, because it is unbelievable. A glaze is better if it's actually about five minutes old. The best thing in the whole store is a cinnamon roll that's about 15 minutes old. It has to be completely cool. If you taste a hot cinnamon roll, you're going to think it's great. But if you tasted it just as it cools, the texture of it, the look of it, the taste of it, you get a lot more flavor. It's a cinnamon. It's a fresh off the line cinnamon. We're going to do a speed round here. 24 hours a day, yes or no? Absolutely. Can I pay with a debit card here? Absolutely. Cash? Yes. Uh, I owe you. If you, forget, <laughs> if, you, if, you, if you forget your thing, we'll even put you on the wall of shame up there. Uh, do you have Wi-Fi here? Absolutely. Free to our customers. We have so many uh, people from Rose and University of Memphis and high schools come in here because they're not old enough to go have a drink in a bar, so they come in here and we have free Wi-Fi from them. The other thing is we put our donuts on sale at 11 o'clock at night, six for a dollar forty or six for a dollar six. I don't even know where it is because I'm not here then. But they can come in here and get something affordable, get six donuts for less than two bucks. But they pay full, pay full price for their coats, they pay full price for their coffee or their milk. And you come in here on Friday night, 11 o'clock, you cannot get a seat.